All right, Mike. The owner of Toon Rams, if you ever watch this, or if you're watching it, I apologize for any disruptions on any of your pages or YouTube channels, right? Sometimes when you make a post, the posts go weird, right? Just like a backfire through the throttle body, right? It's weird, you know, because the intake manifold type deal itself is plastic. That should have blown up first, but it didn't. It just didn't happen, so I apologize. All right, that's all I can say. I apologize. But a man's got to defend himself, you know. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. All right, guys, the part where I talk about betting money in that little statement there, I understand that's not widely acceptable, all right? Uh, I apologize. I live in Las Vegas. Our customs is betting and gambling. It could be a nickel, $200, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, it's our customs. And I respect your customs, and I would appreciate if you respect my customs, but I do understand that that statement part about bring your money probably triggered some individuals usually what ends up happening is nobody bets anybody money all right we usually become friends okay and then try to race again all right and push each other and help each other become faster so i apologize about the uh bring your money part but if you come here to vegas it is our custom to bet and gamble i mean just on everything it don't matter come there all right, guys, title to this video, very simple question, answer. All right, is Jay Green purposely tuning Las Vegas Ram trucks to be slower? Is he doing that? And the answer simply, it's, it's no. No, he's not. Of course he's not. Jay Green is a professional, and you guys know that Jay Green tunes some fast trucks. So why would the trucks be slower here in Las Vegas? Why? Right? Why would they be slower compared to the rest of the trucks throughout the country? Right? Maybe trucks that are in a lower DA. Maybe trucks that got a better atmosphere. Right? Why would that be? Because I don't think Jay Green can tune your atmosphere. I don't think he can do it. Right? That's why. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I made a post on Facebook. It was basically calling out lifted Ram trucks in Las Vegas. Usually I like to do a little shout out before racing, right? That's to entice other people here in Las Vegas to bring your Ram truck out to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, right? The post has nothing to do with nitrous lessons. It has nothing to do with uh, run times from tra other tracks, right? I really don't appreciate somebody coming along, you know, uh, claiming that they can go faster on less mods, same size truck. No, you cannot, all right? I called my buddy that's got a full bolt-on uh, cam truck that was tuned by Jay Green. I raced him. I was faster. People don't appreciate that shit. That's cool. That's cool, right? Run your gums. Run your gums. We're out here in Las Vegas. Run your gums. Nobody here is running their gums, all right, and talking about any uh, anybody else's run times anywhere else. All we're doing is looking on the internet going, damn, I wish we could be that fast. I wish our air was that good. All right, but no, you guys gotta come around and try to teabag us here in Las Vegas. But you know what, come out here to Las Vegas. Now I asked my buddy to get back to him. Do you think somebody with just an exhaust and a tune, same truck, let's say you do his same exact truck, same tire, same, same everything, except for that truck is only exhaust tune. I said, do you think that truck can beat you? Do you know what the answer was? The answer was simple, hell no. It's not gonna happen. So why do people think that they can do that? You might be able to make it look like you can do that where you're drag racing, but you can't do that when you come down here. If you think you can, we wanna see it. We're waiting on you. I got a camera ready, all right? I got a camera ready. You guys can see this Facebook post and, and you tell me, should I get a bunch of whoopings? Should I get a, should I get teabag and people go off base and comment all kind of ridiculous stuff? That's why people don't like Facebook. 
That's why people don't like Facebook. That post was irrelevant to 90% of the people that commented on that post. I don't even think one person that lives in Las Vegas commented on it. Especially with a lifted truck the size of mine. The size of the ones I raced. Alright, I raced a Jay Green tune. Hold on. I respect Jay Green. That man is the man. If you want to get a tune from him, be my guest. You won't be disappointed. Alright? You won't be disappointed. But if you think you could come in here and stomp on a full bolt-on J Green tune cam eight-speed truck, alright, and I'm talking about oranges to oranges, apples to apples. Bring your crew cab lifted, big tires, full weight. Give it your best shot. We're here. I don't think I deserve the tea backing. There was no disrespect intended. None. You're the ones that came disrespecting. That's the truth. And it happens a lot. Do you know why you don't see a lot of people posting their times from Las Vegas on social media or Facebook? Think about it. Think about it. Because their times are embarrassing to them here. It's not worth it to them to post their times. Because a dude with the same odds somewhere else is faster. That's why. Show me a YouTube video with people posting their times from Las Vegas. You can't really find none. You find mine. When you see someone posting videos on Facebook from Las Vegas drag racing, they're mine. There are very few people that have the guts to post their times. And y'all are going to sit there and run your mouth? Keep it up. I don't care. I'm here. I told you I would meet you at the track, boy. And that's how we'll play it. I'm not trying to do this long distance relationship crap. I don't do that. I get it wet for real, homie. That's the way we run it around here. I don't like you disrespecting Jay Green and all the Jay Green tune Rams out here in Las Vegas. It's not appreciated. I will speak up for those that can't run good times, you know, and you gotta be a dick about it because they're in seven damn thousand foot D damn A. All right, I gotta calm down a little bit. I, I'm actually like running out of things to say right there. I'm calm now. I got it all out. It's Friday. All right, it's Friday. I feel good. I feel the adrenaline pumping. I feel the adrenaline pumping. It's great. You gotta get it out sometimes. Get it off your chest. To me, it gets ridiculous. You know, come on now. You, you don't need to, I don't, I don't, show me how many times I run up on somebody's post and tell them that they're slow and try to bust my time slip down their throat. No, I only show and tell. I only show and tell. All right, and as far as the call outs, I call out who I think that I could go against that will have a head to head race. I'm not looking to race uh, a single cab where I, not only do I got to fight the eight speed, I got to fight power to rate ratio. Rate, rate, weight ratio. I'm calm. <laughs> I promise I'm calm. All right, so I'm not trying to call those dudes out. I'm not trying to call out uh, quad cabs, right, that don't have a transfer case. If you don't have four wheel drive, I'll race a quad cab. I won't really call, call them out because the weight thing, right? I like calling out crew cabs lifted 35s. I don't even feel good about racing someone with 37s. There's dudes out there that'll smoke me on 37s. All right. But I, I don't, I like to keep it 35s. We'll be lifted full weight. Let's run it because the videos are really, really cool like that. When you got a head to head run and both guys are trying to inch to the finish line, that's a fun video. And that makes for a fun night. There is no, we're trying to get records out here because we can't. Our air won't allow it. Look it up. Nobody's doing records or making records with their Rams in Las Vegas. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm serious. I'm calm. I swear. All right. There ain't nobody out here pulling off nothing. All right. There's a boosted guy out here. I believe there's a boosted Rebel. He's running 12s. 
is boosted. That really helps. <laughs> really helps. All right. Good for him. Getting ready to get out. I'm calm. Don't worry, I'm calm. I don't mean no disrespect to nobody, but a lot of guys think when I come along, I mean disrespect. They don't even know I have a whole nother YouTube channel shouting out Jay Green, Flying Ryan, all right, Hemi Fever, Demon Motorsports. I suggested all of them, and I was asking for more. If you know more, post them in the comments of that video. There was no disrespect and no disrespect to nobody. I wasn't trying to call out nobody I thought I was going to get my ass whooped by. Well, I was trying to call out somebody that I thought might have a great time at the racetrack. Because I already know that we would run head to head and it's exciting. It is exciting. I'm not trying to go out there and stomp on anybody's nuts and be a dickhead. Alright, that's not how it works around here. I'll race anybody's cab configuration. I'll tell you right before we leave the line I'm going to lose. I'll give it my best shot. I already know I'm not going to win. You know what? That's, that's enough. I'm calm. I'm calm. I think I said enough. I'm not sure. Uh, it's so hot right now. The camera's saying I'm too hot right now. I got the AC turned down the truck. I'm hot right now. I'm jibber-jabbering. I just think it's bull malarkey. Like I was saying, judge for yourself. You know, what can I do? I do care about y'all. I do care about your run times. All right, in other states, I do look at them, but I cannot compare my truck to them. I apologize. But I can look at them and go, yeah, and look at your truck and be like, yeah, it's pretty good. You know what I mean? But I can't compare, you know, your time from across the United States of America to mine. All right? I can't compare yours closer to sea level. All right? It just don't work out that way. You know, and uh, yes, jibber jabbering. There's about 10 minutes there. It's going to be about a 12 minute video. I apologize if I offended anybody on Freak Out Book Facebook. All right. There was no intentions there. I don't have any, uh, any intentions. I don't need lessons on nitrous. All right. I will get those lessons from my tuners. All right. I got two of them where I can consult and they can tell me what I need to do and what's what. Right now I'm being told not to run in the summer because I'll be slower. Maybe not as slow or not as affected because with the nitrous, but whatever, blue blah, blah, I'm not gonna make a better run time and that's my whole point of doing this project. It's not really a build, right? But it's a project pump. The truck started out running like 18 second quarter miles. I got it down. I believe right now I can hit either 13.9, in between 13.9 and 14.3. I think I got that in the bag. I think I do with the new mods I got now. All right, any, anyway, I appreciate everybody. I apologize if I look like an a-hole or whatever. You know what? I just don't think it's fair sometimes. I just don't. You know, I make a post and I really feel a lot of people came by that, were, that, that made comments that were just not relevant at all. And then it goes into some kind of a lesson. Like you gotta teach me something. <laughs> Hot damn hell yeah.